What Assets Bypass Probate in Arizona? Hi, I'm attorney Paul DeLauri, and there are 10 things that can avoid probate in Arizona. And it really depends on how the, the asset, the thing, is titled. So let's get into them. Number one, joint tenancy properties. Properties that are held in joint tenancy with right of survivorship can avoid probate. Now, Arizona has a specific way that real estate has to be titled. It can't be held in joint tenancy. It has to be specifically joint tenancy with, or as joint tenants with right of survivorship, and the, the joint tenants have to accept, have to actually accept, you know, sign the deed saying that they accept taking the property as joint tenants. So that's pretty different from a lot of other states. Number two, Community property with right of survivorship. Now this is another uh, right of survivorship kind of ownership, but it is applicable to married couples. So married couples can own property as community property with right of survivorship. So the deed can say that. Number three, payable on death accounts or POD accounts. Now these are types of accounts, checking accounts, savings accounts, and other usually bank accounts that have a payable on death designation so that when the when the owner passes away the account then the, the ownership of the account then transfers to the person to the the person designated as the payable on death recipient number 4 transfer on death securities now this applies to bonds stocks brokerage accounts that kind of thing and it's very similar to a payable on death bank account uh, basically when the owner dies then the ownership uh, transfers to the beneficiary listed as the you know under the transfer on death uh, designation number five life insurance proceeds now most life insurance has a beneficiary or a number of beneficiaries named and so when the when the insured person passes away then the named beneficiary or beneficiaries are entitled to collect the life insurance proceeds now uh, there's a little footnote here uh, that if the life insurance does not have a beneficiary named then it actually gets payable to the estate and you actually have to have a probate. So simply having life insurance by itself does not avoid probate. You have to have a named beneficiary. Number six, retirement accounts. Th these are accounts like IRAs, 401ks, and other retirement accounts, and they typically have a named beneficiary. Now, sometimes they don't have a named beneficiary or the beneficiary has passed away or some, something like that. But typically, a retirement account will have a named beneficiary, so when the owner passes away, then the named beneficiary gets the account. Seven, assets held in a trust. Now, the typical thing is a living trust, what people call a living trust or a revocable trust. They're kind of the same thing. Uh, we won't get into the difference uh, here in this video, but, but just for sake of conversation, things held in a trust that is properly drafted with actual beneficiaries and has a trustee and where the assets are actually transferred to the trust, uh, those assets can avoid probate. So uh, it's really good to just not assume that just because the person owned a trust that you can avoid probate because th the things have to actually be put into the trust. And it's very common for that not to happen. So it's really good to check with uh, a estate planning attorney, probate attorney, or just give us a call if you have a question about that. Number eight, certain smaller estates. So if the value of personal property is under a certain threshold, and or the value of real estate, real property is under a certain threshold, it's often possible to transfer the asset by an affidavit. Now, it's not always possible. There are exceptions to that, and there are situations where it still makes sense to just do a probate. Um, for example, if you have uh, property that's, let's say you have a house under $100,000 in Arizona, this is 2023, so that's the threshold where the equity in the house is under $100,000. Uh, 
then theoretically you can transfer the, the property by an affidavit. However, there are situations where that might just be impossible. For example, if you have 15 children and, or, or you know, the deceased owner had 15 children and they all have to sign uh, transferring the property, uh, ba basically, well, they're transferring it to themselves. And it, it, in that case, then you have 15 children and theoretically their spouses who all have to cooperate pick a realtor, pick the sales price, figure out are they going to paint it a different color or not paint it a different color, who's responsible, someone contributes a couple thousand dollars to, to clean up the place, do they get paid, the sister doesn't want to reimburse them, and you can get into complicated arguments in that kind of situation. So just because it's under the threshold doesn't necessarily mean that you, you can uh, slide by and avoid probate. Um, you know, from even just a practical standpoint. But that's theoretically the, the situation. So again, certain smaller estates can avoid probate. If you have a question, talk to a probate or estate planning attorney. Number nine, motor vehicles that have a beneficiary designation. Now, this does not apply to all motor vehicles. There is a form on the Arizona Motor Vehicle Division website that is kind of similar to the uh, transfer on death, uh, or I should say the beneficiary designation for real estate. You, you can do that for real estate. And it's similar uh, for a car. You can have a beneficiary designated on a car in Arizona. So that may be the case. It's worth checking out. And then number 10, employment benefits. There are some employment benefits that have beneficiaries designated on them, so it's good to just check with the deceased person's employer and see if there were any employment benefits and if there were beneficiaries designated. So those are the 10 common ways that you can avoid probate in Arizona. If you have any questions about this or anything else related to probate, give us a call, 602-443-4888.